Party Rock is out of the house tonight. Previously on the Insert Synonym of Hunger Games. The Starving Games is only starving from humor, nuance, and self-awareness. But a new challenger emerges. Will this underdog, the chiller fought kid pub Hunger Games parody, overtake the heavyweight in the games? Let's see if this one can't miss the mark. Welcome back to the channel. Victors, losers, everyone in between. This is actually not me speaking. Uh, luckily I had the time to clone myself in the last video before I got dragged away for being a revolutionary scum. So this is actually an identical clone of Jared Drew. My name is Melissa, nice to meet you. So this video is sponsored by Child Gladiators. Cause the only thing scarier than an actual child is a child with a sword. Call 1-800-CHILD-GLADIATOR to get a free sample and a 30-day trial, money back guaranteed. So this is the world red carpet premiere of my Hunger Games parody. And yes, I do look like a walking Zoomies catalog for this. I was styled by um, some dude on Depop. Not Cinna, unfortunately. He dead. I wrote this when I was a 12-year-old child. Uh, yes, I was bullied in elementary school. Um, Suck. Therapy's expensive. So yes, I originally published this on the teen writing site KidPub. Now, I will probably go into depth in another video about my other works on KidPub because, like... <laughs> Fuck a Pulitzer, if you won the KidPub award for worst adventure story, then you know what literary clout is all about. So this website was popping off between like 2011 and 2014 as a space where uh, Tumblr band kids could write stories where Den and Phil were actually Harry Potter characters and they discovered that Snape was an undercover member of My Chemical Romance. Um, and he actually sabotaged Dumbledore because Dumbledore was a Gerard Way stan who, you know, Snape was just a purist who didn't want the band to break up. Um, and then in the end, Den and Phil held hands with Draco Malfoy and it was a whole thing. Totally random example, definitely didn't write anything like that, of course. Uh, so this is the kind of content we're working with on KidPub, and I haven't exactly read through this whole thing yet, but uh, just perusing through it, I've seen a lot of uh, XD faces going on in here. Or one of the little uh, D ones, or like the little ones with the arrows. I get the sentiment, but I don't know how I'm supposed to audibly say those. What? Apparently they're um, acting cues actually, like whenever Katniss has to glare whenever like this comes up on the screenplay. So, I don't know. There's also original artwork in here. Like look at this. So the way we're gonna do this is like I broke each scene down, like each scene is its own section. There's like 23 or 24 scenes. So I'm gonna get as far as I can get and just like read through these and at the end we'll maybe discuss what's going on in them. Scene one. Gale and Katniss are hunting. See that squirrel? We're all dying, so why not shoot it? For the heck of it. Oh my god. Epic fail shot, dude. Oh, I made it because I'm Katniss Everdeen. The best freaking archer in the world. So this is just three lines. It's Katniss. That's how the book starts. That's how the movie starts. That's the opening scene from the source material. So, so far it lines up, right? Scene two. Before the reaping. Oh my god, oh my god. They're gonna choose me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a tribute. I'm, I'm so scared. Calm down, sis. Um, they're never gonna choose you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're gonna choose me. Help! Okay, they definitely are. But, uh, just come with me to reaping, Prim. Okay, so Prim is panicking. Uh, Katniss is like all sassy or whatever about it. Um, I don't really... There's not a lot of jokes here. It's just like saying, oh my god, like a bunch of times. But you know, we're working our way through the plot. Then scene three, The Reaping. Uh, it says, cheeky Effie speech. Uh, don't know what that means. Okay, ladies first, as always. Oh my gosh. You'll never guess who it is. It's Primrose Everdeen, of course. Horse. Yes! 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 It wasn't me! Let's celebrate! Uh, Katniss, you need to volunteer now. Alright. 
pita malark. Pita's face is stuffed with bread. Okay, so in this scene we can already see what I'm taking from the Starving Games, which is like all the bread references. Also, like, I don't understand the Gale thing. What? what? This is his only line, and it's just to volunteer Katniss. Like, you can't do that. Katniss doesn't even, like, volunteer in this. Just Gale volunteers for her. I don't understand that. Scene four, the train. Uh... Do you have any advice for us, Haymitch? Uh, uh, my advice is... Don't die. <laughs> <coughs> oh, thank you. That's excellent. Actually, I hate you, Hamish. So I borrowed the character trope that Hamish was drunk. That's from The Hunger Games. That's canon. But I didn't really exaggerate it in any way. I just said Hamish in a drunken voice, and he's like telling Cadmus not to die. Um, I guess that's funny. That can be funny. Uh, she also pushes Hamish at the end of this. Don't know what happens there. If you got pushed out of the train, that might be kind of cool. Scene five, Cinna. So you're here to make me beautiful. I'm here to make an impression. Well, I already made an impression. I'm freaking Katniss Everdeen. Katniss walks away. Katniss, I'm going to set you on fire. Katniss runs back. Really? That's so cool. So at this point, I'm just literally taking lines of dialogue from the Hunger Games movie. I'm here to make an impression. That's a direct line from the Hunger Games movie. Like, he says that. I'm here to help you make an impression. So I would definitely get sued if I tried to release this. That's really cool. We definitely changed Katniss's character um, development, character arc in this. Uh, whereas in the original canon, Katniss is, she's the most famous person in the country, but she's reluctant to be to step up to be any sort of leader or public figure or anything. But in this one, the fame has completely gone to her head. She's become, she knows she's an influencer and she's proud of it and she uses that um, as leverage against anyone else. So that's really something that I changed from the original. Scene six, training. Welcome to the training center, a pointless place where the game makers watch you fail tremendously. Ha 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 ha. Our skill stations are Dancing, writing, math, and social studies. Hey, aren't you gonna teach us things that are actually helpful? Yeah, because if you don't, I'll jump out that window. First of all, there are no windows. Second, the game makers and I like to see you fail in the arena. No. Marvel spazzes out. Uh, PETA throws bread at Marvel. <sighs> Shut up and get to work. So in this scene, yet again, another bread reference, um, another few more usages of the word fail, no real jokes, um, more people jumping off of things or out of things or into things. I feel like that's going to be a common trope. Okay, Katniss, your life sounds are interesting. Next, Katniss walks away. Peter tries to hug Katniss. Katniss pushes him away. Peter walks on stage. So, Peter, I think you'll die. Do you? Yep. Okay, so everyone agrees, Peter. Now, do you have a special girl back home? I really can't imagine that you do. Yes, well, she's warm and tasty and warm. I've had a crush on her forever, XD. Haha, <laughs> you? Uh, never mind. If you win, you go out with her, right? That doesn't help in my case. Oh, why not? She came here with me. This is exactly how it happened in the book. Holds up first Hunger Games book. Okay, so in this scene, a few things are happening. So for one, we broke the fourth wall. We're now talking directly to the audience. That's pretty cool. Also, um, warm and tasty and warm. It's the most disgusting uh, line that I've ever heard, and it's the worst thing that I've ever had to read. And yeah, this is exactly what happens um, in the book with no punchline. My like sense of humor back in this this time period was mainly centered around acknowledging things. You know, like how PETA acknowledges he's gonna die, and he's like, yep, that's what I thought was just like freaking hilarious, you know. Scene 8, the launch arena. You've liked me? Actually, it was my bread I was talking about back there, but I love you too. Ooh, woo raises eyebrows. Katniss shoves PETA to the ground. Peter passes out. Yay! Hamish walks in. Kill them all, Katniss. 
Kill, kill me. If you insist. Shoots arrow at Hamish. Peta starts sleepwalking. Once upon a time. No! Mary and Margaret didn't. Uh, kill, kill Catherine. Uh, Regina's evil. Uh, uh. Passes out again. Um, so. So I'll be keeping a tally on the number of uh, bread jokes I make up here. So I think that's three or four by now. Gee, Jesus. Oh my god. And if you didn't get the reference there at the end, uh, it's the ABC show Once Upon a Time, uh, which no one remembers or cares about today. So yeah, I'm taking the referential format of the Starving Games and those kind of parodies, the bad parodies, and uh, this is the first time I'm using this in the script so far, but like, I'm sure we'll see this again later on. Also, Hey Mitch is uh, uh, suicidal. That's really fucking dark. Holy shit. Scene 9, the cornucopia. In 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four. Oh, I don't have the patience to do the whole countdown. Let's just start the games. Go! All of the tributes run around. I want the unicorn toy. No, I do. No, I do. Someone knife this kid. Tribute nine boy gets killed. Katniss runs away with the knife. Not much to say here. Uh, I don't know why there's a unicorn toy, but I imagine like my idea of the cornucopia is just to have like a bin full of toys or whatever. Just have like the Legos or something. Scene 10, Katniss camps out. Night falls, death recap comes on. Katniss watches. Haha, <laughs> that kid is a freak. No wonder the girl from District 7 was dead. These people are stupid. Katniss turns away. Let's see what I have for dinner. Pulls out bag, starts pulling out food. French fries, hamburger buns, ketchup, tuna, Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, egg and waffles, Cheetos, raisin bran, um... Katniss falls asleep, starts snoring loudly. So in this scene we learn that Katniss has an entire feast um, in her bag, and then she immediately falls asleep. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe she got sedated. I, maybe the Campbell's cream of mushroom soup was poisoned um, with a sleep agent. I do not know the answer. I do not know. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's a new day, new day of filming. Let's get this bread. <laughs> Actually, no one's getting any more bread right now because um, turns out I'm missing scenes 11 and 12. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe they were so embarrassing that I just shredded them, but they're not here. So I'm gonna end this video right now. Uh, if you guys like this, then I'm gonna Skip ahead to scene 13 and we can finish this, but uh, yeah, in the meantime, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on LinkedIn, Pinterest, Depop, KidPub, of course, and I'll see you guys soon.